Okay guys, in the previous video we've just started to talk about uh, the practical basis of microbiology and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit detail on uh, the bacterial growth and how to culture bacteria. Remember, the growing of bacteria we simply call it the culturing, culturing of bacteria, right? need to culture bacteria that's called the growing uh, or growth of the bacteria now culturing of a bacteria requires uh, remember two different important things one is uh, the culture media you require so one is uh, the food source so food source as well as the matrix both of them you need to provide them and that both of both of these things are supplied by culture media and the second thing you require is the bacteria itself bacteria itself right so suppose you need to culture a bacteria you need to culture uh, bacillus subtilis so let's say bacillus subtilis is the example bacteria in this case we need to culture this bacteria onto some media now the media we use normally the culture media we use it can be of two different type according to the uh, type of media it, it can be liquid or it can be solid right so let me write it here it can be of two different type type one is liquid media another one is solid media so the solid and liquid both of them right so here if you are using a liquid media it should not contain any matrix only the food source and if you're using a solid media you need to put some matrix and that matrix is making it uh, it's making it more solid right so liquid media and solid media the basic composition of media is the food source or the nutrients nutrients and the nutrients that we will find in those media are basically common to all of the basic media if we are, if we are talking about the basic media for all the microorganisms there are different specialized media too but we are talking about basic media and a basic media should contain a carbon source carbon source this is the energy source also and it can be it can be dextrose glucose uh, so any of this glucose or dextrose whatever whatever it is should be a carbon source there should be uh, amount of nitrogen source and nitrogen source will be proteinaceous components right uh, proteinaceous components and in this case we use peptone as this part and also we use uh, we use NaCl. NaCl is also required because salts are necessary for the growth of bacteria. So that's why you use this uh, NaCl in that in, in particular amount. So carbon source, nitrogen source, NaCl these are required, right? And also in some cases we require uh, so actually nitrogen source is not peptone. I, I made it mistake. Actually protein source should be there. Nitrogen source means uh, there should be not peptone. There should be uh, beef extract beef extract remember beef extract means you know uh, the meat of the beef and not only the meat it's actually uh, everything literally every part of the beef's body and if you take that you, you we make a powdered section of that dry this and we make the beef powder or beef extract that beef extract actually contains all the necessary proteins that a bacteria will require to grow right and except for that we require peptone and the carbon source like glucose and dextrose so this is a very very basic composition of a media a carbon source a beef extract peptone and nacl right so this is called simple media right so simple media can sustain growth of many different variety of microorganisms but sometimes we need to grow some basic some some important special type of microorganisms suppose they are very much dangerous they are pathogenic in those cases we need to use specialized type of media there are different types of media like uh, you know uh, differential media which will differentiate between different types of bacteria for the growth there are enriched media which is enriched with a special type of nutrients like blood or any other in, uh, nutrients that will be required by a bacteria to grow properly there so depending upon the type there are many varieties of media right and in this case this is a basic simple media we are talking about so you prepare this media and everything we just take everything there are uh, individual we can get beef extract peptone uh, sugar and nsl independently you can mix it in a particular ratio into the water and obviously the water you use it 
because that's the basic matrix if you're making liquid media the water should be sterile remember everything that is in the contact with the media or bacteria should be sterile right so here in this case the water should be sterile for the liquid case and also for the solid case you need to dissolve everything in the water so water is required in both the case liquid as well as the solid media but for making the media solid you need to add some solidifying agent and some solidifying agent when you're talking about solidifying agent solidifying agent here is something called agar 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 powder agar powder now agar powder is a very very important discovery for microbiologists because this is discovered from a uh, seaweed agar agar and from that seaweed we take this agar powder once we take that uh, this powder once we put this powder in a very very little amount almost one to two percent in this whole mixture of media and nutrient components this will solidify your media at a particular temperature so when you boil it when you sterile by putting everything there you put all these things in a particular media all these things in a particular uh, actually glassware either it's a, it's, they are called culture tubes actually when you prepare it in the liquidified condition so you can put it here culture tubes like this so what we can do you can take water you, you will add all these materials there and you simply make the volume up to the up to the limit and there are different protocols actually very simple protocol to follow and you can make the media liquid or you can add a little bit of agar like one to two percent of the agar and it will what it will do when you put it and mix it, it it will be liquid but after heating it when you start it to cool down and when start uh, when it start to cool down uh, below 45 degrees Celsius it start to s be solidified so it, it will be solid below 45 degrees of Celsius right and above 90 95 or 100 degrees Celsius it will be liquid and once it is coming from 60 to 45 degrees Celsius the agar powder will turn your medium into a solid matrix right and it won't change any composition of the nutrients that's the most important part this is a non-reactive type of material which won't react with the nutrient sources but uh, instead it will give a basic matrix to your uh, media so that you can get a solid thing and every every time if you have a solid matrix it's always too good to work with a solid matrix right so usually once we when we want to take agar media or solid media we used to take huge round dishes like this which are called petri dishes you probably heard this name before petri plates or petri dishes are taken and in this petri dish why we take petri dish because petri dishes are having a huge surface area and all this area is filled with this agar containing media and we allow it to cool at a particular temperature once it is cooling the agar will be solidified then we take it we can use this as a solid media so we can take either liquid media or solid media for the growth of microorganisms though they are containing same type of nutrients for the bacterial growth and except for that what we require the bacteria which is bacillus subtilis for example or any type of e coli you can take it so any type of bacteria you just take this so what you need a bacterial culture right or bacterial inoculum that's the term guys that's what i want you to focus it's called inoculum inoculum means the load of bacteria load of bacteria so what we are having we're having a very tiny let's say very tiny vessel in in this particular vessel we are having a nutrient source or media in that media our bacteria it's filled with a bacteria this should be termed as a bacterial inoculum in this case we just take bacillus subtilis we put it into very small amount of uh, of these nutrient sources same type of media for example same basic liquid media and we grow them for a particular time actually we grow them for uh, 24 hours at at 37 degrees Celsius temperature and what it does actually after this particular time it is filled with bacteria and you can see very 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 opaque uh, viscous kind of solutions because previously the solution was crystal clean but after the development after the growth you can see it's very much hazy you can't see actually the clear water like uh, content you see a hazy like thing and you can also put it uh, into the colorimeter to observe the od value optical density value and you can see the optical density value obviously rising so that's why it is the indication that bacteria growth is done properly so you take this bacterial inoculum and you use this inoculum for either inoculating other pure culture media other free or sterile culture media or you can take from this inoculum to streak or to 
to pour it onto this agar plate right so you can do both these things but what we required for the growth previously either require a clean sterile media and also a inoculum so we build both these things right so how to build the inoculum we just talked about it we just take our bacteria desired culture specific culture free of any other bacteria we simply take only bacillus subtilis in this case we put it into the media basic media we uh, then stored that media at 36 7 degrees Celsius temperature for 24 hours and then done so this particular time duration of heating at 37 degrees Celsius temperature for 24 hours this particular time is placed in a particular uh, machine called incubator so we put it in the inc incubator and then it's done incubation is done properly so we get our desired load of bacteria then we can take it and we can inoculate other things right so so once we take this media and we take from this media and put it either sterile liquid media or sterile solid media this is termed as inoculation inoculation process this is termed as inoculation process right and this inoculation process is brought about using a small device that's called inoculation inoculation loop or inoculating loop right it, it is looking something like it looks something like this right and uh, the terminal it is having slightly so that's why it's termed as loop L remember this is a loop like structure it's called inoculating loop now once we take this inoculating loop we dip this loop onto this uh, on, onto this media and we put it onto either liquid media or solid media for the transfer so how to inoculate these things will be uh, looking and discussing it in the next video so that's it guys that's how we need to prepare our culture media solid liquid and all these things and that's it